in a tiny pocket of Africa's wilds. Elusive animals. Make a living in the hidden underworld to survive and escape the most ruthless of predators, all the time looking for food to stay alive. The Aardvark, architect of the bush, builder of dens used by many other creatures. No sign of any dangerous enemy and the Aardvark's rabbit-like ears detect no threatening noises within their hearing radius. So he pursues the time-consuming pastime of looking for food. His eyesight may be as bad as a human's at night, but his sense of smell never fails him. Just like a sniffer dog, the Aardvark smells a termite nest buried 30 centimeters underground by following the faint scent trails and slight vibrations made by the insects. Inevitable success. And the front paws go to work immediately. Claws, shaped somewhat between nails and hooves, shovel an opening into the cemented earth. And in a mere few seconds, the Artfark's buffet spreads before him. A tacky 45 centimeter long tongue flicks into the cavernous nest. The termites that stick to it cannot escape. A few slurps catch as many as 20 termites. When the irate insects start to bite the Artfark's soft nose, first course abruptly ends. Time to move on to find the second sitting. Nose to the ground, he smells out his next meal and tears open another termite mound. On a good night, with no interruptions, the Artfar can dig into as many as 30 termite mounds. In his wake, he leaves behind exposed nests of vulnerable termites. They do not leave their ruined home. The workers repair the damage by building up the walls of the mound with sand grains cemented together with their own excrement. After the termites, he earns the title of Master Builder of the African Underground. The Aardvark creates one of his architectural masterpieces. During his wanderings through the bush, between destroying termite colonies and being on constant alert for the slightest sign of danger, he excavates deep feeding burrows, up to five in a night. It takes the Aardvark a few minutes to hollow out a perfect tunnel three meters deep. This forms part of his danger management strategy. Old and new holes pepper the grasslands with safe houses, easily accessible in case of trouble. He's a prolific realty developer and a generous one at that. The burrows he vacates get snatched up or used temporarily by many of the other dwellers of the African bush. A faint breeze brings airborne smells to the open field. He identifies lion scent, and then his ears pick up the unmistakable sounds of lion on the move. He bolts, running faster than a man, an impressive speed considering his unathletic physique. few strides and the lion covers twice the distance. The Aardvark makes it safely into the bowels of one of his constructions. A hideout too small to fit the bulk of a lion. A desperately starving lion could try to dig out the trapped Aardvark. Easier than stalking and running down a buffalo, let's say. But this male is well fed and now that he's awake, he ambles back to the pride. On the way, he greets his brother. In feline terms, it's good to keep up the friendly relations with siblings and pride members. The Aardvark carefully surveys the neighborhood before setting off. 
He embarks on his nightly mission to find as many ant and termite nests as possible. In a night, he can cover a distance of up to five kilometers. The aardvark's teeth lack roots and enamel, so they can only deal with the softest of foods. But it remains unclear why he has teeth at all. Food bypasses them altogether and his stomach fulfills the job of grinding the 50,000 or so insects which he eats each night. Using his nostrils like a vacuum cleaner, he sucks up the little insects. Before the soldiers of this army can put up a fight, he moves on to expose another colony.